What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. I am going to be going over a couple articles and a video clip today and it's all related to the Passport Bro movement trending. As you guys know, and if you don't know, it's recently been shown that apparently the record that we set last year is already on pace to be broken this year as i predicted i predicted this when i found out that we broke the record last year so i'm gonna go over this first article that was sent by a subscriber and it's from the good man project and i'll make sure i leave the links to all of these art to both of these articles in the description so it starts off good reading Good riddance why women from the US annoyed about the passport bros by Tony Dionis. Uh to be honest with you, when you start to read this article is gonna start to sound like Tony was probably a girl. Or a male feminist. Anyway, let's continue. It says passport bros are typically straight white guys from the US who can't find a female partner fitting their typically conservative standards and decide to go search for one abroad. The people complaining about this are predominantly progressive straight white women who have absolutely no desire to meet those standards. Bonnie crew. I honestly don't get the complaint. You stupid. Okay, sure. It must be frustrating to see some guys would rather take their passports and leave than try to work on themselves to become better humans who respect women as equals. It's painful to look at such embodiment of regressive social attitudes. See, this is one of the things that really pisses me off about people who think that being conservative is regressive as opposed to progressive. But they don't people who want to push so hard to be progressive they're really not taking the time to look at stats and see that the more progressive this country has gotten the worse marriage has become and it's the women that are becoming progressive more so than the men because regardless of how much money a man makes he's still held to a regressive standard since they want to use that way since they want to use those words because see they want to call they want to say these men don't want to do better but these men can't be doing that bad if they can afford to travel overseas you stupid that's the part that they just keep overlooking and that and that really pisses me off you must unlearn what you have planned. continues but it's not like any of this of it is a surprise we knew that these guys exist we've been complaining about them for years and now they are willingly going away. How is it? How is that a bad thing? Because they don't want other men. They don't want more men finding out. The more men that find out about this, the less. <laughs> See, here's my thing. If these women were so great, they wouldn't be worried about other men finding out about this. That's the reality. That's why they want to silence men. They don't want more men finding out about this. The more men that find out about this, the less bad guys are going to be spending money on OnlyFans. The more men that find out about this, the less men these men, women are going to be getting attention from, going to be getting DMs from, going to be getting cash apps from. I can go on and on and on. And y'all know it. That's why they're get that's why they that's why they tripping. That's why they keep telling us to shut up. We do not care. They are basically selecting themselves out of your dating pool. You don't even have to swipe left on them anymore. Exactly. Sounds like something progressive U.S. women should celebrate. No. If I were them, I'd give those guys a good boot on their way out just so they don't forget how horrible all these feminists are and don't think about coming back. Okay, whoever wrote this, man, they 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 hedging. I can't tell if I can't tell whose side they on now. And sure, you might worry that they will now inflict themselves on women in other countries. Please don't. Despite what Hollywood has told us, we and the rest of the world generally don't need an American hero to save us. If the women the passport bros yearn for want them, they just won't take them. Don't for won't won't want them, they just won't take them. Exactly. And if they do want them, all power to them. Truth is, the U.S. might be lagging behind Europe, but it enjoys greater gender equality than many other parts of the world. Guys who are quite regressive by our standards could be at least something of an improvement elsewhere. 
who knows they might even inspire men at their destinations to become a bit better and I'm glad they mentioned Europe because I could the clip that I'm gonna play you guys is related to that moreover most of the women from the country's passport roles tend to go to are anything but meek and place it wives material placid wife material I'm sorry I imagine that this is not long after they marry that these guys find out exactly how badass women from across the world can be they will feel tricked sure but let's not waste any pity on them stupidity should hurt bruh you stupid y'all 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 don't got a clue man they really don't where are the passport sisters <laughs> frankly <laughs> okay frankly that's the one thing I find curious in the whole story if the men in your own country are all so crap, why won't you also go elsewhere? And if these women are so great, why come men from elsewhere aren't coming here? A place where it's easy to make a living. Yeah, you did, did you did you think about that one? No, of course you did. You stupid. So that right there lets me know what what narrative you're trying to push in this article. Let's continue. I keep reading various stories about dating in the U.S. and my eyes widen with each one. None of my male European friends resemble what you describe, and although I know I live in a progressive bubble, I'm pretty sure things are not as bad here at all. See, that's a bunch of BS. There's plenty of people watching me from, um, <laughs> there's plenty of people watching me from Europe, and from what I hear, y'all got it worse than we do in the States, so I don't know what the hell you talking about. I'm like, y'all must be progressive as French toast. So I get that you're just telling... You're just feeling annoyed that all those dumb men would rather go across the world than become better. People who respect women's equality and meet your standards, whatever, just leave them to make the mistake of their lifetime. Take your passport and come to Europe. <laughs> come to Europe. Okay. Okay. Since you want to play that game, check, check out this clip, man, and then I'm going to go ahead and read this other article. Yeah, this is a bunch of BS. Check this out. So, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I received the message from a, you know, fella in the UK because he's saying that the modern women, because of the men, you know, in America, just not putting up with it no more to getting their passports, getting out of here. Now, some of these modern women are reaching out to men out there in the UK, but this one man was exposing them. Let's go ahead and put that up. So as you can see, the man said that he said his name, he said he watched videos, fine, but he says, so what they're doing is contacting British guys and possibly other places outside the USA claiming to want a relationship with us and expecting guys to send Google play cards to help them out. He said, maybe you can uh, do so sort a uh, story on this. Admittedly, I feel for whoever that person is, but yeah, see, so the modern, so y'all men have been getting your passports and you know what y'all been getting out of here, right? And now they call the men from other countries now because y'all won't put up with their crap. Mm, mm, mm. Men in other countries gonna tell on y'all. They gonna tell and that's good. Them men don't want to deal with y'all because they're trying to get, get away from their modern women too. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Now, anybody that watches me that's from Europe or even Australia, because those are the two countries that I hear that are just as bad, if not worse, than the U.S. And you got this goofball over here writing this article. Talking about some, y'all need to come to Europe. Uh, Why aren't European men coming over in mass to come to the USA to deal with y'all? Why aren't any men from other countries coming over here in mass? You don't hear men from other countries saying, get your passport and go to the United States and find a wife. You don't hear anybody saying that. I find it so funny that y'all so quick to sit over here and, oh, they're stupid. Oh, they don't want to be better. How are we not better if we can afford to travel to other countries? Because if I was married to a woman in the USA, I would still want to get my passport and travel to other countries. So I can't be doing that bad. I'm like, not the men, I'm like, not to mention, I've been working out for the last five, six years. I'm in the best shape of my life. The hell are they talking about? No, these are just guys that you don't want because these guys won't tolerate your BS. That's why y'all end up choosing Pookie and Ray Ray because y'all can control them. Y'all can't control these men. Because women are so quick to say men are intimidated by women that got their ish together. It's really the other way around. Because when y'all dealing with a man who got his ish together, he ain't going to put up with any of the BS. And y'all don't like that because now y'all are being held to a standard instead of just being willy-nilly and doing whatever the hell you want. That's what Pookie and Ray Ray do. And the reason why Pookie and Ray Ray do that is because you can control them because they don't got their ish together. 
How many times have I tell y'all it's all about leverage with these women, bro? That's why they deal with the men that they deal with. Let's keep it moving. I want to read out this um, article to you guys. Look, traveling overseas this summer, there's a huge demand for pair of passports, so get yours ASAP. So if you're planning a summer getaway outside of the country, make sure you get your paperwork in order sooner rather than later. Passports are in unprecedented demand, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Thursday during a House appropriate Appropriations sub Subcommittee budget hearing. In 2022, the State Department issued a record 22 million passports, and 2023 is on track to break that record, Blinken said. The U.S. State Department is fielding half a million passport applications a week. Blinken said that's 30 40 percent above last year it's so dramatic a half a million per week you guys dude at that pace we're gonna shatter that 22 million bro and out of that and out of the out of that half million I would love to know how many are men versus women I guarantee you it's majority men I guarantee you it's majority of men ain't, ain't no way in hell you're gonna tell me most people that are filling out for passports now are women I have a hard time believing it because these women aren't going overseas for the same reasons we are. The standard processing time for a passport is 10 to 13 weeks and the expedited request takes about seven to nine weeks. That doesn't include mailing time, which can take up to two weeks each way. Now, that's how I know it's backed up because it took six weeks to get mine and I applied back in September and I got it in October. And they said that it would take anywhere between four to 11 weeks. So now they're saying 10 to 13 weeks. And, it, and when I applied for mine, it took two weeks if you got it expedited. Now, even being expedited takes seven or nine weeks, you guys. This is why I keep, I keep telling y'all to get y'all passports because it's getting, it's getting crazy now, bro. You're going to have to wait a really long time for it to come in the mail. Processing times fluctuate throughout the year depending on demand as we anticipate that they will be a rise, especially as we approach the busier travel season, according to the State Department news release. So they're expecting it to get even crazier because we haven't even hit travel season yet. During the pandemic, demand went way down, Blinken said, and the department pulled the back the number of state decided dedicated to processing passport and visa requests emerging from COVID. We had to build we've had to build back. He said the State Department has hired more staff, authorizing overtime and open satellite offices to process passport applications more quickly. As pandemic restrictions ease, travel ramped up to 52% of Americans planning to travel in the next six months. According to the U.S. Travel Association, travel spending and demand for flights are both higher than 2019's pre-pandemic levels. Demand used to be... Demand used to be... a. Uh, Sick, uh, sick, cyclical, cyclical. I apologize, man. Um, <laughs> I apologize if I butchered that. With a busy season starting in March and ending in late summer, Blinken said, but now it's con con consistently high. Americans who already have a passport soon will be able to renew it online. The department halted a pilot program to make sure that we can fine tune it and improve it before we roll it out in a bigger way Blinken said but 65% of renewal customers for passports will be able to do so online once this program is fully up and running for those looking to travel to the US the median wait for visitor visa interview appointments is about two months half as long as a year ago it is shorter in many parts of the world Blinken said the department is prioritizing visas with economic impact like those for students temporary workers and business travelers in category after category we're actually getting back to an even better than pre-pandemic levels, Blinken said, toting the fact that so far uh, in fiscal year 2023, the department has issued 18% more non-immigrant visas than the past period in fiscal year 2019. Immigrant visas are a whole other issue, Blinken said. Right, so there you go, man. So again, you guys apply for those passports whether you got to do it online whatever the case may be if you were to apply for one now you might not get it till june july it is it's getting that bad now that's why i'm grateful that i applied for mine when i did last year before it got real crazy all right let me know what y'all thought about this man <laughs> uh a lot of layers to this man i wanted to cover it all in one video all right if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. 
Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Until the next video, you guys. Deuces.